Brooks, Daddy Dad One coming at you today. Um, I wanted to make a video. I uh, made my trip down south to Fort Myers um, to visit my mom and my brother and sister. Um, flew in there, and we kind of had a family get together, a family reunion. I haven't seen my brother from um, Idaho or my sister from Idaho in years, so it was really good to see them. And uh, something that I saw along the way while I was going, and hey, thank goodness nothing really bad happened. I had some bad stuff go down with me here, and uh, that's what I was having a bad feeling about, I found out. Um, so, but it, you know, thank goodness it wasn't on a whole statewide thing or nationwide thing that they clapped martial law down on us. I'm, uh, I'm glad I was wrong there. But like I say, I, you know, I had a bad feeling for a reason and I had some stuff go down around here. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, I've seen a lot of new construction going on. Um, new housing complexes being built. Um, new roofs going up. New homes going up. And some of them were almost completed. And this is a really good sign. Because these are the same housing complexes and subdivisions that I have seen for years now sitting with pipes sticking out of the ground con uh, you know the uh, permits drawn up and ready to go just you know they didn't have the money I guess or anything to do it with but it's all go now because they are building they're doing new construction in Tampa new construction in Fort Myers all along the way and it's slowly working itself up towards North Florida and I hope this is starting to go on throughout the United States now I don't know whether when Obamacare kicks in all the way whether that's going to bring it down to the ground again I hope not I do know that the medical profession is changing the way it deals with things a lot of doctors are switching to a cash basis so that they can do what they need to do for their patients um, there's some other bad things going on with that whole thing also that is not good so we're gonna really have a challenge a challenge with the changing aspects of the medical um, of how we deal with being sick and being hurt dealing with uh, being treated and getting well so that's going to be a challenge for us we're going to have to do what we got to do and push through this thing I would advise everyone to find a good doctor now if you got to pay cash for him do what you got to do <clears throat> but it's going to be important that you have a good doctor already in place and the time is running out to get one because a lot of them aren't taking any new patients already there are uh, a lot of the good ones are being filled up quick but anyway just wanted to make a video and uh, you know let you guys know that that I'm what I'm seeing is a very good sign that we are coming out of this recession depression thing that we've been in gas prices still are down I've seen it for 334 um, along the way and that's still high but it's not as high as what we were seeing so there's some good news for you hope everybody's well and God bless and good luck to us all. Buy all the ammo you can while you can, if you can, because you will be able to use it as currency when stuff gets bad. Because we've still got a lot of bad things coming at us. This, this weather is going to continue to get worse 
and worse. They are going to continue um, manipulating these storms and making them stronger and worse. The uh, Another one of the big problems that we're going to see is problems with our food because of the weather. When we've got record heat all of a sudden, and a couple of weeks ago we was in the 40s here, there's a, I'm seeing a fluctuation in temperature differential in night and day at 40 degrees. Last year and the year before, it was 30 degrees between nighttime temperature and the next day temperature. It would be like 60 during the night, 90 during the day. Okay, I'm seeing a 40 degree difference this year. So that is drastic. But do all you can to prepare. Um, there's a very high need for handyman type work. So if there's a lot of you that can't get jobs, um, study up and do some videos. Um, look at some YouTube videos on how to how to uh, you know put in laminate flooring, how to do this, how to do that, because there's a very real need for handyman services right now. Um, that's the kind of work that I do, and I could work 24/7 if I wanted. Um, my health doesn't allow me to do it so you know but I work as much as I can and uh, it's a really really big help to me and to my family to have this work and to do what I do because I am in demand handymen are in demand right now so learn how to do some learn some skills learn some skills it's a good thing to know anyway. Be a can-do kind of person. So, anyway, I hope, uh, I, like I say, I hope everybody's well and doing good. God bless, good luck to us all. Never give up your guns or your rights go right with them. You're going to have to see what's coming down the pipe because, uh, we, like I say, we do have some things that, not going to be fun and not going to be good, but we can make it through. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.